Hey y'all, my name is Ian Schwegel and I serve here as Outreach Director at Transformation Church. And today is day five of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Um, this week we've been praying for our personal lives and today um, we'll be praying to walk in wisdom and revelation. Um, and our scripture for today, um, Psalm 43, three says, send me your light and your faithful care. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And Ephesians 1, 17 through 18. And it says, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious father may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and the incomparably great power for us who believe. I think the one thing we need to understand about wisdom is that it's not of us. Um, many of you, like me, may have seeked uh, wisdom in many different places, may have seeked uh, knowledge in many places um, but it's a it's a humbling endeavor it's it's real humbling to realize that um, that you can never be as wise as the source of all wisdom who is God um, we see in proverbs 9 10 it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy one is understanding and so my prayer today like it says in our devotional said it says Lord Jesus open our eyes um, you know I when I read the scriptures I need for the spirit to illuminate it for me so that I can understand so that I can follow God um, you know I really love uh, Psalm 43 3 our scripture for today in um, Psalm 43, 3 through 4, um, it says, Send your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Then I will come to the altar of God. To God, my greatest joy, I will praise you with the liar, God, my God. Um, now, the liar is a, a stringed instrument that David uh that David used. And what's important here is wisdom of God leads us to worship. Wisdom leads to worship. The more we understand who God is in his holiness, um, a God that is all powerful, that created the heavens and the earth, that, that woke me up this morning, that has never sinned, that cannot be in the presence of sin, it really shows me just how, how much I really am incapable, um, how sinful I am, how um, not powerful I am. And this only, this only shows me how powerful the cross really is how uh, God turns the wisdom of the world in which Jesus would have come as this, as this conquering king, um, just destroying the nations. And he has shamed the wise and come as a suffering servant, dying on the cross to save us from our sin. That's a God who humbled himself with the, the spirit of the Lord upon him in all wisdom and truth. And he became humble for our sake. Friends, wisdom should humble us um, because we serve a God who humbled himself for us. Um, and so today I ask, where have you sensed God giving you the gift of wisdom and discernment in your life? And also, James tells us that God will give us wisdom if we ask. Will you ask him for wisdom? He promises to give it to you when you ask. All right, let's pray. God, thank you today for, for your wisdom, God, that 
is not of this world, Lord, but is but is above this world, God, that um, that is above the brokenness of sin, Lord. Help us to understand you better, God. Things of you, God. Um, spiritual things, Lord. Help us to just dwell um, in the understanding, Lord, that we serve a God that um, that humbled himself um, with matchless wisdom, God. There is no one that can compare to the understanding that you have, God. Um, Lord, humble us today, God. Help us in this fasting, Lord, to see that we are truly dependent on you as the source of our wisdom, God, and the source of our strength, Lord. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Keep on keeping on with the fast, y'all. Um, let's, let's draw closer to the Lord and seek him.